Hello, welcome to LPO Online. My name is Catherine and I play the viola in the Louisiana Philharmonic Orchestra. In today's video, we're going to talk about unpacking your instrument. So let's say you just got your instrument home for the first time and you're excited to get it out and practice, or maybe it's time for your lesson and you need to unpack. Uh, the most important thing is that you think carefully about where you're going to unpack. You need to think of a flat surface. This could be a table or a couch or a bed or a desk or maybe even the floor, but consider do you have any younger siblings who are maybe going to be very curious about your instrument and try to play with it? Do you have any pets who maybe like to scratch or chew or lick new things? So make sure that the instrument is out of reach from your pets or your younger siblings. And then also consider maybe you have some clumsy parents. I'm just kidding, but the, really the, the main way that instruments get damaged is by accident. So think of somewhere where there's not a lot of traffic, not a lot of other activity going on, a little corner that can be yours for that time that you're practicing. Once you've decided where to unpack your instrument, make sure you tell the other members of your household. Tell your parents, tell your siblings, tell your cats and dogs, just kidding, but make sure you tell your family where you've unpacked, right? The main way that instruments get damaged is by accident, so if if your mom doesn't know that you unpacked your instrument on the couch, she might go and accidentally sit on it. That's normally what couches are for, right? If your sibling doesn't know that you unpacked your instrument on the dining room table, they might run through the room and, and knock your instrument over. So make sure you tell your family, all the members of your household, hey, this is where I'm unpacked. And then make a habit of unpacking in that same space, right? So that the the instrument is expected to be there. It's not in a different place every day. Um, this is the best way to avoid accidents. Be consistent and mindful about where you unpack. Once you've chosen where to unpack, make sure you lay the bottom of your case on that flat surface. If you can't tell what side's the bottom, here are a couple of tricks to help you tell. Usually the bottom of the case will have some little feet and also maybe some hooks or some straps for carrying it like a backpack or with a shoulder strap. So that's the bottom of my case. I'm gonna lay it flat on my table here. And the top of the case often will have a little zipper pocket. So this big zipper, it's just a pocket for storing music or accessories or... Every case is designed a little bit differently. So as I walk you through how to open my case, know that your case might not look like this. Your case might have latches instead of zippers. Um, your case might have different kind of latch with a, a slide that needs to go to the side or down. Your case might have one zipper that goes all the way around. So if you can't figure out how to get your case open, um, try not to get frustrated. Make sure you keep the bottom of the case on your flat surface and don't go tipping it around while you're trying to open it because then the instrument could fall out. And ask an adult for help if you really can't figure it out. Um, some of them are, are kind of tricky like a puzzle to open so don't be afraid to ask for some help. My case here has underneath this velcro flap a latch and two zippers. So the first thing I need to do is take those zippers and open them all the way around. Now that my zippers are open, it's time to undo the latch. This latch works by squeezing both sides in and then you can lift the case up. Once you've opened your case, see if you can find the seat belt. Most cases have what I like to call the seat belt, this little Velcro strap holding the neck in place. This is a safeguard so that if you ever closed your case and then forgot to do those zippers, Maybe you got distracted by something else and then you thought, oh, my case is closed, time to go. And you picked up the, the case by the handle and that lid went flopping open. That seat belt is gonna make sure your instrument doesn't go flying out of the case. So it's a little security measure to keep your instrument safe. Most cases just have this little Velcro strap. If yours doesn't have that, don't worry, that's okay. Just be extra careful that you never pick up your case before it's fully secured. I have my case open and my seat belt undone. I'm gonna pick up my instrument with two clean hands. So wash your hands before you handle your instrument. This is gonna keep the varnish clean and shiny, free from any dirt or oil on your fingers. We're gonna take those two hands, slide one hand under the neck of the instrument and one hand under the bottom of the instrument. 
So we have our instrument with two hands. When we set it down next to the case, see if you can do this really gently without a sound, as gentle as you can. If you're a brand new beginner to your instrument, you might not need to take the bow out of the case yet. You might be practicing pizzicato, plucking. But if you are using the bow, make sure that you're careful when you take it out to twist this toggle. These little toggles hold the frog in place. We're gonna undo that toggle. So let's slide the bow out just like that. And just a note, you've probably seen some people lay their instrument in their open case like this. I don't recommend this. Um, that lid of the case can really easily get bumped or knocked closed. And then that case is gonna fall and smash into the bridge of your instrument. So best to leave the instrument laying on the flat surface where you unpacked. Close that case up. If you need a little more space, put that case aside on the floor, under the bed, beside the couch, wherever you unpacked, and work with just the instrument until it's time to put it away. Thanks for tuning in to LPO Online. Remember, you can always check out our website, lpomusic.com, for more videos and performances.